the initial delay right there. Good to have you on the program today. Um, the Epic Games launcher had me <clears throat> locked out, so I had to quickly get back in after I had already sent the tweet. But uh, Rockstar is now updating, and I should be able to get in pretty shortly. Um, good morning. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me this Friday morning for some Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we're nearing the end of the game, as I've been told. So I don't know what's going to happen today, and I don't know how long the stream's going to be. I'm going to try and go for the full four hours. I don't know if we'll be doing this next week, because I don't know uh, what's going to happen next. So there's a lot of unknowns related to today's broadcast that uh, we're going to be discovering as we go on. There we go. I hope you enjoyed last night's uh, stream of Alien Isolation. It had been a while since we played Alien Isolation, and that's because we, of course, beat the primary plot to Alien Isolation many weeks ago. But there were a few DLCs that we hadn't explored yet, and man, were they short. Each DLC was basically just one level in the, in the main game. Uh, but despite them being pretty short DLCs, we... we finished them both, and died a lot. I think I died how many times? Like 24? 24 times? Those of you in the chat who were there last night, I had quite a few deaths. But to my credit, I did beat one of the missions, at least, on hard mode. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. Uh, good to see all of the members and subscribers and Patreon patrons and regulars in the chat today. <clears throat> and not to mention all the mods. Weird Beard, Amy Hudson, Deuteronomus, Fanta 1996, Jay Z, love that gold derby, Jay Z, Gemma, Deuteronomus, Rockland, Rachel, Brett Bus, Abraham Lincoln, DCFM Games, Antonio Stina, A Strange Viking, Slatty Bartfast, Von de Bergen. I, I, I kind of have, a, I'm starting to feel like many of you show up in the stream at the same time. Every, every time I go live, because I feel like the order in which I'm reading your names is, is similar. <laughs> it's starting to roll off the tongue. I'm getting used to it. Uh, good to see everybody here this morning. Mac West says, good morning, Ox. I'm driving. Good Springs. I'm driving to Good Springs right now. That's one thing I would love to do someday, and that's to take a tour of Nevada and Arizona, but with a fallout slant. A Fallout New Vegas tour of Nevada and Arizona to see the places that were mentioned in the game. I would love to go to Good Springs. I wonder what the town of Good Springs has done now uh, due to their newfound fame. <laughs> Do they have like a Fallout Museum or a plaque somewhere there? Die Side says, thoughts on where the next Fallout could be set? Could be anywhere if I had to bet. Well, uh, not bet, but if... If I had my brothers, so to speak, I'd have it set in Canada because we at least know that Canada was part of the United States of America at that time because of the, the USA annexed Canada. So <clears throat> there is still some American culture in Canada at that time. And I kind of want to find out what happened there. Of course, I'd love to see a New York City, a devastated New York City, but just the mammoth undertaking that would be. I don't even know. But yeah, lots of wonderful, wonderful opportunities there. Josh Bunton with a tip. Good afternoon, Ox, says Josh. Good afternoon, Josh. So good to see you. Douglas Delagarde says, boo, hello all. Boo, Douglas Delagarde. You scared me. I'm frightened. Lucid Sage said, uh, says, I was sad I missed last night's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, but I'm glad I can catch the stream. Happy Cowboy Friday. A Friday, Oxen fans. Happy Cowboy Friday to you. You know what, if you, even if you missed the broadcast last night, it'll be live. In fact, I think it is live. It's live on the program, on the channel today. That's right, it is publicly available, so you can always watch the replay. Parker Smith says, I want to see my home state of um, Michigan. 
Fallout Michigan. That would be interesting. And I'd love, of course, to see uh, the city of Seattle. Sinistral Tiger says, I want a Fallout in Denver exploring the Cyber Dogs. Now, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? We learned so much about the Cyber Dogs in Fallout New Vegas after they were introduced to us in Fallout 2. Wouldn't it be cool to uh, explore Denver, Colorado? They could set it in Detroit. No changes necessary. <laughs> Jeez. No name. I'm getting political here. Rachel says, since buying Red Dead Redemption 2, I've accidentally crashed and punched my horse, and my accidental death count is dangerously high. Well, I mean, that's sad. But also, I'm glad it's not just me. I'm glad that there are others experiencing the same unique quirks to this game that I have as well. Man, Les, we were really cruel to our horse last stream. I think I punched my horse a couple of times, not even intentionally. Vladimir says, Hi Ox, do you join the dark side in Fallout 76 killing defenseless mole treasure hunters for their stuff? I did. Yesterday I went and I, I killed a few mole man treasure hunters for their little dusty pails. Uh, didn't really get anything interesting, but, you know, it's an event. Nick Skinner, new member. Thank you for joining, Nick Skinner. Good to have you on the program. Ethan H. says, you missed my previous super chat. Sorry, Ethan, I'm doing the best I can here. Let me scroll up here. There it is. He says, you'll definitely reach the end today. But what people call the end in this game isn't the end in the usual sense. It goes into the epilogue, which is a whole chapter that's like 20 missions long. Oh. Really? Great. Well, I'm, I guess I'll be playing this next week. Hooray. <laughs> Ethan, thank you. Man, I, I was so mentally preparing myself to just, like, having this be the last the last broadcast. But now, now nah, that's great. I'm glad it'll keep going. Uh, okay, um, <clears throat> I do got to start the game soon, but but the comments keep on coming. Die Side says, as someone who lives in Toronto, that would be cool. It would be cool to explore Canada in the Fallen Launch universe. Tanner Moore says, hey, Ox, what's your stance on the Second Amendment? We have it. I'm glad we have it. Uh, Oscar Hernandez says, what books do cars read? Autobiographies. Makes perfect sense. Thank you for that, Oscar. Brett Buss says, how about fallout surrounding the Great Lakes could have boating mechanics along with Canadian lore and Michigan? Now, that would be pretty cool. Gotta say, that would be pretty cool. All right, let's dive into the game. No Name says, I bought a ceiling fan the other day. Complete waste of money. He just stands there applauding and saying, ooh, I love how smooth it is. Teach their own, right? Have a ceiling fan, a wall fan, a rug fan, a steer at your computer and gas bed it fan. Sunny Claire says, would love to see institute style culture slash art faction in New York control all the museums and stuff and such. That would be really cool. There are limitless possibilities with uh, the potential of where Fallout might go in the future. Okay. What have we got? Dutch wants to meet us. And that's it. That's it. That's 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 where we're at. Arobulus says, you ever make that caravan video for New Vegas? I dedicated an afternoon to figuring it out, and it's kind of fun. By the way, remember, tap that ash. Thank you, A. Rumblius. I did uh, dedicate some time to figuring out, and I think I have a pretty decent grasp of it. But uh, I still haven't made the video. Tyler, welcome new member. And then DJ Collins says, uh, Facebook says alien isolation. By the way, good to see you. Oh, sorry about that, DJ. Well... Well, well, we'll get that fixed. Elaine Berry says, great show last night. Thank you, Lane. Had a wonderful time last night revisiting Alien Isolation. Douglas Delagarde says, an Ox fan, lol. I could just get a guy parked behind me. Good job, Ox. Way to go, Ox. 
Would that be good for my ego, maybe? Alien Face says, I killed a legendary beaver last night. Made a nice pair of gloves. Keep up the amazing work. That's right. There's still all of the legendary animals. I suppose I could go that way. Oh, what do we do? Do we just go to the main quest or just walk around for a couple of hours? <laughs> I mean, if the epilogue is really 20 missions long, then... I mean, I could go finish the main quest now and we can move into the epilogue. <clears throat> Tony J says, Oxhorn, you may better focus on side missions that are part of an arc or they will reset in the epilogue. The escaped prisoner, Mr. Black and White, may have something for you to do. Oh, well, okay, where would I find them? They're not popping up on my map here. Let's see, now S on Twitter sent me a list of things that I could do still. And it's a, it's a really long list. So there's no way I can do them all today. Uh, apparently, there are quite a few things that I can still do. I mean, there are 20 dream catchers out there. I think I've only found one. Uh, the Watson Boys. You can visit the Watson Boys and their mother three times. Their cabin is located northwest of Wallace Station. No Name says, if you offer dental, medical, and vacation, I'll be your ox fan. Well, let me think about it. I'll talk with HR, okay? Douglas Stellegard says, your ox fan would just say, heel ox. <laughs> heel ox, press G ox, don't punch the horse ox. Jedi Master says, ox, do you plan on playing Red Dead Redemption? What if not? Will you watch the cutscene movie? Uh, I, I can't play Red Dead Redemption 1 because it's not on the console. I don't know what you mean by cutscene movie. Are you talking about a cutscene movie in this game? Red Dead Redemption 2? In which case, yes, we will watch that. Are you talking about like a fan-made compilation of all of the cutscenes from Red Dead Redemption 1? Probably not. Watch that. Dad Left a Toaster says, Hey, Ox, there's some mods being made for Fallout 4 that are remaking Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Would you possibly play them when they come out? Probably not, as I've already played Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. Uh, we explored those stories. We really enjoyed them. And, uh, you know, I've got really no need to go through the stories again. As cool as it would be to see them in in the Fallout 4 engine. Jay Cuesta with a tip. Thank you very much, uh, Jay Cuesta. All right, well, Wallace Station, Watson Boys, cabin northwest of Wallace Station. Let's try that. Where is Wallace Station again? There it is. All right, so let's, let's fast travel to Wallace Station. Seba Survivor says, do the main quest. You can do all those missions after the epilogue. Yes, but I am told that they reset. Brett Buzz says, the second mission for black and white is between Rhodes and Valentine. Rhodes and Valentine. Well, then maybe we should do that as um, we've already started on the black and white missions. Whoa. Might as well pick that up. Hey, okay. you see that? Am I glad I found you? I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? I want to see what happens. So sure. All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You won't even know I'm here. Oh, I got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, uh, so two days or 
or more. <laughs> oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. <laughs> and I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> So I'd like some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> I woke up on a riverbank shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost the... real easy. <laughs> you ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked by the demon. Stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. <laughs> this is strange. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me. What in the world was that? I totally expected there to be an ambush. But no, she's just a crazy lady coming out from the woods. And she gets freaked out. I, Arthur says nothing. And <laughs> that entire thing goes on in her mind. And she gets freaked out and runs away. That's hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> uh, chat's going wild here. Um. Uh, no name says if you get mad, punch a tree, not your horse. Thanks. I'll do my best to remember that one. Douglas Delagard says, do what you want, Ox. We will watch anyway. Lol. Thank you. I will. Jay Cuesta with a tip. Thank you very much, Jay Cuesta. Josh Bunton says, Ox, your side missions progress won't reset in the epilogue. Also for the language. Oh, well, thank you for the tip, Josh. <clears throat> okay. Well, if my, if my side quest progress won't reset, then there's really no reason to go and track them all down now before, um, before we do this next quest. Okay, well, in that case, let's just um, continue with good old Arthur, and we can track down the rest of the stuff later. Uh, Chris Tucker, in all caps and with a slew of unnecessary question marks, <laughs> says, can you do all Fallout 1 dialogue? And the answer is I already have. Uh, I did on. an entire series on Fallout 1. And during that series, I captured yep. every voice piece of dialogue and most, if not all, of the dialogue options. And the same is true for Fallout 2. So been there, done that, had a great time. Oh, should I go? Wait a minute. I've got I've got a brand new rifle, didn't I? I got I got a brand new rifle. I want to go check out my rifle at the end of shop. What's the closest shop? Is there a gun shop in Annisburg? There is, and I'm already halfway back. I, I want to go to the gunsmith in Annisburg. Sorry, I know I'm derailing things, but I got a brand new gun. I want to clean it up. I want to customize it. I know I'm already close to the end, but this is something I meant to do last week that I forgot to do. So let's get to <laughs> For those of you who are really itching for me to get to the main quest, I'm so sorry. But I want to go check out my new gun in Annisburg. And then we'll uh, we'll, we'll go to that next quest, alright? Yeah. Yeah. So glad I unlocked this ability. <clears throat> also, I want to up my karma. I should probably get my karma up before the very end of this quest, huh? Find charity. Maybe charity will find you. Here's a good way to up my karma. Help a blind man.
A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, here you are. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> He's a cowboy fortune cookie. Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Alright. Alright, let's go check out my new rifle. I didn't get any car karma there. I'm trying to shout at everybody I meet. Hey there! Hello. Hey there, mister! Yeah! Give me that good karma! Hi there, mister! Hey, mister! <laughs> Love the way he says mister. Listen to me. Listen to me. Sir, madam, gather round, gather round. Hey, mister. I make no bones Darling. for my testament. For my Almost testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and oh. nasty. Off you may, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, well, but look around you. I'll look around and learn and weep. Hello. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Thank you. What's it about? Hopes for the future! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Scoff not. Laugh not. Deride not. I speak the truth. We are killing this land. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea will dry up. The world Howdy. will heat. Howdy. Oh, I bet. It's you! My friend! <laughs> this guy's your well, mysterious I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything All right. you, buddy. Anything. Wow, I'm glad we came back. Dangerous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. Free gun best. at the gun shop. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that it, if it were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. Fair enough. Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. I How will. Do you do? All right, man. Goodbye. All right, well, I moved away just so that I could listen to myself think with that guy shouting and hollering. Uh, let's read the book now, see what this is all about. Hopes for the future, damnations and exclamations on science, the skies, water, and the great swindle. Oh, I have a feeling this... This is going to be good. A book by Dr. Malcolm McIntosh, published in Boston in 1891. The dangers of illuminating oils. What is the price of the light created by burning illuminating oils that fills our homes, lights our carriages, and transports us in metal machines? The new invention of the patent motor wagon will result in the death of the creatures of the sea. One day there will be no fish to be found by the fisherman, as he has traveled farther and farther in a machine of death. Learn and weep as the rivers and oceans go black and nowhere is to be found a drop to quench our thirst. 
The hills, scorched, shall burn. The rivers, fouled, will burn. The sun in the skies will burn our eyes and skin. Experiments and future of electricity. The fire that runs through wires of elements such as copper shall soon come to consume every part of our being. Soon electricity will be required for every part of our lives. It will create visions in front of your eyes. It will be used instead of sexual intercourse. Man will no longer be able to cipher numbers because of the reliance on it. Electricity, not from the skies that sets our trees afire, but the kind made by man. A wonder of the age, yet it is a fire, and it will eventually cause us to burn every living thing to make it to make more of it. I mean, that one's kind of ac accurate, right? <laughs> a swindle. This is a full and accurate report that every person reading this will be swindled out of a cons out of considerable wealth. Machines are wonderful, but in the operation of the wrong people, they are the pathway to destruction. Someday these machines will lull us into comfort such that we lose all common sense, compassion, and human contact, instead preferring the sound of the machines. Also kind of true. All right, I'm starting to have a little bit of a healthy respect for McIntosh here. Whispering gibberish to clouds will not save you. Science will save you if you let it. Otherwise, your skies will be forever gray. The oceans will rise, and the women who live in the sea will die. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. He believes in mermaids, so that's a problem. You are a slave. This is the grand question, plainly stated so that you can understand. Do you want to be a slave to ignorance? Do not fall for damnable doctrines and the cruel massacres of the elite. Only in this country can a person be proud of not being good at math or science. You bring about the destruction of our very race by, not, uh, by noting nature around you by not noting nature around you. The dinosaurs were killed by men out of fear, and that very ignorance will kill us all. Well, we have to remember it was the 1890s, so you can't get everything right. American ingenuity damns us all. American industry will do what it always does, make a few men very rich and a lot of men very sick. Those are the only outcomes, so if you're not rich, trust me, you will be sick soon enough. My teachings will ground you. Go and spread the word by ordering copies of my book so that you may go on the incredible journey to the heart of all knowledge. Do not listen to the lies of institutions. They profit on the damnation of us all. Unlike him who's profiting on the sale of his book. Well, then again, he did give us a, a copy for free. Yours, Dr. Malcolm McIntosh. Additional copies of this publication can be found at your local bookseller. The Dark Seraph says Colm was a real bastard, no doubt about it, but we really need to hand it to him. When facing execution, he really hung in there. Well, that tends to happen when you're facing execution, so. Right, uh, is he still there? He is. Oh. Hey, friend. Hello. Got Science your hands full there. Not God. Not dreams. But knowledge. Knowledge is the only hope. And knowledge starts with the eyes. You don't need too many eyes to see that we are doomed unless we change our ways. Can we I are say anything? The very life from this place. The sea runs black. The earth bubbles. The sky is grey. I can't believe it. That's it. Okay. So there's where my honor is at. I'm almost there. What can I do to quickly get my honor up? Okay there. Lucky Hello, cool. mister. Hello. Hey, partner. Hello. <laughs> I'm just being super friendly. All right, let's check out the new weapon we got and maybe buy a new one. Hey, free weapon. Hey, On Facebook. Friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. Oh, this also is a hotel. It's a gun shop and lodging. Well, let's customize. One second.
Okay, I added, I updated the title on Facebook and Mixer, so we should be good there. Uh, now, what's the new one that I got? Uh, I got this High Roller Reviver. This is brand new, I believe. I bought it. Let's see what we can do to... It's beautiful. All we can, all we can alter is the ammunition. And it's already clean. Jante says you have max honor. It's okay. Do I have max honor? It doesn't, it didn't look, it looked like there was still more room to go. And then I got a new rifle. Um, the Litchfield Repeater. I believe it was the Litchfield Repeater. Yeah, that's it. Brand new, brand new item. Let's clean it. Components, barrel, rifling, improved rifling, free. Oh, that's my new, I get one free upgrade. Oh, okay. Before I clean anything, let's, um, let's see what the shop is. Okay, is there anything new that I don't already have? I think I probably have everything. Yep, there we go. It's free. Cattleman revolver, double action revolver. Showfield, volcanic. Evans, carbine. Lancaster, Litchfield. Varmint, Springfield. Bolt action rolling block. Carcano. Sawed off shotgun. Do I have a Carcano? I think I have a Carcano. Lee Taylor says, Ox, you have Max Honor. It doesn't go completely to the end. You're good. Oh. Okay. I think I have all of those. Son off shotgun, double barrel, pump action, semi-auto, repeating. I've got all those. Do I have every weapon in the game? Is that it? I have the Carcano, right? Yeah, it says owned. Well, I guess I don't need to buy any weapons. Um, I got one for free, but I already owned them all. So, well, let's upgrade, uh, let's upgrade the weapons we do have. Maybe we can get an upgrade for free, and I'll take that. So let's customize. And where were we? We were at the... The Litchfield. You don't have the Evans, says Dark Dragon Dave. Do I not have the Evans? I don't have the Evans, that's right. Okay, let's get the Evans. Thank you for paying attention for me. Jonathan says, hey Ox, do you have any thoughts on Joe Rogan's deal with Spotify? I've been watching your content for years and think you deserve more credit. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it. But, I mean, more power to him. You know, he's doing great for himself. If he gets to deal with Spotify, I'm, I'm happy for the guy. Um, yeah, if Spotify wants to give me a deal, I'll, I'll take that. Sure. Evans. All right, let's do it. So noted. You have a good day now. All right. I probably don't need this weapon. I've got all those others. But we'll uh, spend our money. We've got $4,000, which was a fortune in this universe. So... Scope, no scope. I don't know. I don't like the scopes. I've already got one scoped weapon. I don't need anything else. Let's get that wide grain in there. Let's wrap it. Oh, I don't know. That that metal going down the stock? That looks really cool. Well, let's do the leather wrap there. All right, now. Customize it. Styles, metals. Everything is iron. Iron, nickel... Blued steel. Wow, that looks cool. Black and steel. Blued steel. That blued steel looks cool. Brown steel. Brass. Eh. Silver. Eh. Gold. Eh. The iron also looks great. Oh, that blued steel looks cool. Let's do that. For the barrel. Frame. Blued steel. Dust cover. What's the dust cover? I don't see anything changing. Dust cover? Maybe I covered it with the leather. Lever. I don't know. That iron looks pretty good. It's a bit bright. It's a bit bright. Maybe we'll do brown. Brown steel. 
or blackened. It looks good. Let's do blackened. The site, we can leave that. We can leave that iron and leave the trigger iron and we're looking good. Uh, engravings. Inlay metals. So I can't do inlay metals. Oh, I see. Ooh, wow. That looks great. All my guns are going to be gorgeous. I mean, I, I hate to lose that manufacturer stamp, but this looks cool. So let's do that. Ten bucks for a Baroque engraving. Oh, yeah. Carvings. Well, we're covering the stock with the leather, so forget carvings. Leather. Can we change the color of that leather? Oh, no, that's nice. <clears throat> Miwi says, sorry for not being on the show yesterday. I had a long stream that ended just an hour or so before Scotch and Smoke Rings, and I was exhausted. I don't blame you, Miwi. Uh, just get your rest. Your rest is more important than anything. I'm glad you made it to the program today, though. Oh, yeah, that would look good. So that's hazelnut. That's the normal one we're at. But look at that. Chocolate. Oh. It's just gorgeous to behold. How about a varnish? Change the wood color. Now, do we want it that night? That nice crisp birch? Maybe a bit. I do kind of like the birch. But black walnut looks good. We don't want it to get too dark. And the bacote. Am I pronouncing that right? Bacote? Eh, that's too dramatic. Ooh, that's kind of nice right there. Mahogany. Mesquite. Oh. Myrtle. Let's do myrtle. Yeah, why not? I think I like it. Uh, Corda says Ox is Red Dead Redemption 2 video content out of the question. You mean lore videos? Um, it's not out of the question. It's just a matter of, uh, of managing my time. Because I already am swamped trying to cover Fallout. And my, doing my live streams. Uh, to add another game in there where I'm doing actual lore videos. It's, I don't know, I, I would feel a bit overwhelmed. Okay. Now... Are there any other weapons I need to customize? Let's go through our collection one more time. Compendium updated Evans repeater. I do think I have one more weapon. Can I? You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. It was, so I customized the Evans. This is the new one, Land uh, Litchfield, right? Yeah, there's the Litchfield. Right, ah, let's... you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Have you considered improving the sights on this weapon? It makes a big difference. That's great. Arthur's shopping voice. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Styles, metals. You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? All right, well, we just blued our Evans. So let's not blue this one. It comes blackened. And it comes with this wonderful brass. I, I like the way it comes. I just don't think I want to change any of that. Most people in this town are just trying to survive. I like to think I offer tools to help with that. So the problem is that when we've got these full engravings... One's light and one's dark. But we can't change them on a piece-by-piece -piece basis. You will not find one piece out of place, I assure you. Let's do Art Nouveau. Oh, that stands out on both of them, but that's a bit much. Oh, that one might work. 
Yeah. I know these firearms inside and out. Feel free to ask anything. That's a beautiful gun. Man, that's a beautiful gun. The Dark Seraph says the Litchfield Repeater is based off the old Henry repeating rifle. They nailed it. It does look great. No need for carvings. Well, let's see what's available. Yeah, just these nature motifs. I don't know why I don't like them. Leather. Um... The conditions in that mine are getting worse by the year. If nobody wants to work there, what would become of this town? Let's do that. And then a varnish. I like the one it's got. Bobinga. Miwi says this coming Monday through Thursday, it's going to feel like up to 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. You will Celsius, only find the finest fire out 86 here. to 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So hot. Yeah, the weather is uh, getting warmer, that's for sure. Okay, Springfield, bolt action, rolling block. I believe I've customized all of these. Did I customize my Carcano? I haven't customized You'll the Carcano. You've weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well this, done. This is a new one too, isn't Are it? Are you interested in any rifling in this one? Give your bullets a nice twist rate. I'm totally wasting my time. I'm You'll see an immediate right improvement. That oh, look at that wrap on the Carcano. This weapon. Uh, metals. Let's take a look at metals. What do we got? We got brown steel. So we had blackened for the last one, blued for the first one, and this one is browned. Uh, maybe we should keep it browned. Now, now that silver looks interesting on that weapon for some reason. Normally I don't like it too bright. Perno Bendito with a tip. Thank you, Perno Bendito. Iron. That would look really good with iron. But it's already browned. I don't know. The brown is pretty cool too. Ooh, nickel. It's gotta be nickel. There are some desperate people in this town. You may want to stock up now. Silver side is bright. Let's keep it brown. Let's get a nice silver trigger on there. Feel free to inspect the craftsmanship. Carvings, we are covering those, right? Yeah. Most people in this town are just trying to survive. I like to think I offer tools to help with that. Stu chestnut. Varnish on there. Oh, it's got the maple varnish. Cool. We could make it a pretty dark weapon. That actually looks really nice. Dark walnut? Okay. <coughs> now, we've done everything else, haven't we? Gorgeous. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I Gorgeous. love to see that. Hunting knife. Yeah, we upgraded our hunting knife. I think that's it. All right, we're done. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Yeah. All right, I'm closing down now. Last chance to make purchases. Good morning, friend. Come on now, boy. Morning to you. You all right? Might want to rest if you can. Some real beautiful country around this area. Right? That's actually a good point. Well, it's already morning. So let's just go back to Dutch. Let's eat something. Let's give the horse an apple. It'll take more than that, boy. 
Then let's eat something ourselves. Just that we're nice and full. Get some food in here. Yeah, we've got this plain mutton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't like that. Didn't like that plain mutton. How you doing, boy? Ethan says time for the main quest. Yes, yes, yes. Time for the main quest. All right? All right. Wolf Dragon Tamer says, just don't punch your horse again. I'll try not to. I'll try. Oh, hey, hey, now let's let's pay off our bounty. Look, we can pay off our bounty. That's something we can do, right? Let's do that while we're here. The train is on its way. Howdy. Nice to see you. Good on you. Get a fresh start. Oh, yeah, new Hanover bounty. There we go. 20 bucks. Right there, sir. Worth it. Yes. Why? Thank you for your help. Been some grip going around here. And I just thought, uh... Ah, you know what? Never mind. What can I do for you? Been some grip going around here? What is that? Like a contagious disease? Is he taking a look at me and going, Man, you look awful. You must have a contagious disease. Our next train's coming right Check your bags and under your seat. Okay, back to camp. Yeah. Do I stand on chicken? Ox, do you have four bonding with your horse? I think so. How do I check that? Go to go to player and then horse. Level four bonding. I got it. Overview. He's looking good. Physique. Malnourished. How is my horse malnourished? I just gave him an apple. Sorry, my poor horse is malnourished. Gosh, they really make you feature characters a lot in this game. What about your journal, Ox? You might want to read that. Oh, okay. How do I read my journal? Um, let's just go to the last page. Oh, that's it. So we drew a nice picture of a stag in woods. There's Beaver Hollow. Oh, wait, no, these are chapters. Ah, there's the da there's the bridge we just blew up in my last stream. Bake Bacchus Bridge blew up a bridge with Marston, either to stop the army killing us quite so easily. Whoops. Get moving, we'll Yeah, get yeah, yeah. All right, sorry, I'm blocked. Well, there we go. There's the journal. I really should have been reading his journal from the beginning of the game, but uh, I didn't, and so there's kind of no point now. I mean, that's a lot to read to cover. So, yeah, I'm gonna skip the journal. But we saw his pictures. And I just love the added touch that they put in that Arthur likes to write a journal. Hey, what's this? There we go. Dream catchers. Find all of the dream catchers to reveal the secret within. Ugh. 20 dream catchers. I mean, I want to know this this secret, but I don't have time to hunt down 20 dream catchers right now. Yeah. Uh, Dark Lightning says, if you go into cinematic cam, 
While you're riding your horse, unpress the walk button a few times. It'll follow the waypoint, and you don't have to control it. Oh, that's information that would have been useful a long time ago. Easy now. But, uh, cool. Thank you for that. I love the way he just fell off his horse. <laughs> All right, well, we've got Buell to level four. Honor, all the way, max honor. Camp has almost 200 bucks. I've got over 5,000. Let's check in with Dutch. Uh, is it just me or does the camp look a lot smaller? Are they tearing down camp? Without me? I don't like waking up in this place. You do what your mom tells you, okay? Of course, Uncle Arthur. We'll all be getting out of here very soon. I spoke to John. We're working it out. I know. Just be careful. You too. The Dark Seraf says for the Dino Bones and Dream Catchers, you can wait for the post game. So <clears throat> some are only available in the post game. I don't know about the rock carvings, though. You might look up a guide and go for it in one stream. I suppose we could do an entire stream dedicated to that. Morning. Susan. Mm. Doesn't have a lot to say to Susan. Anyone else before I go to Dutch? Yeah. Tilly. This is Tilly, right? Ah, uh, long dead. Morning, Arthur. Hey, get up. What is it? Hey, no one trying to improve the mood a bit. I'm going back to sleep. Hmm. Who are you? Name's Joe. I'm with Micah. With Micah? Well, more fool you. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it takes them out back. <clears throat> this is a tough time. You ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score. We got enough money to leave. All this oh, turmoil has the army score. and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I've always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. 
This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam, and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. What just happened there? Something dark. We will happened. survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Dutch. Let's go. Yeah. Pyroman says, "How dare he insist? Is is something awful going to happen just because Arthur chose to use the word insist?" Oh, Dutch, he is a fragile human being. This Dutch, his ego is just glass. It's made of glass. Okay. Let's pick up the pace. Train is due in Santa Anita in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. All he wanted was to make sure the women and the children didn't get killed by the Pinkertons. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Zack says he insists. I love this part, Ox. That aside with Dutch's the one time we leave Arthur's viewpoint makes me think Dutch Should made be a just decision these there. Trees. there. No, you're right, and I noticed that as well. All of this has been through the... Pers Sorry to pause it in the middle of the dialogue, I know, but all of this has been from the perspective of Arthur Morgan as he's encountering people and as he is seeing the world. But Arthur Morgan didn't hear Dutch say that. The camera swings around in front of Dutch as Dutch is walking away. Only the player saw Dutch go, he insists, insists, telling us that something just snapped in his mind right there. All right, um, I, I missed another comment. Sorry, I know. Uh, Wolf Dragon Tamer says, one more score must be Dutch's favorite line. It is his favorite line. It's just one more big score. We just need a little money. That's all, just a little money. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Get this done. Mount up, Arthur. So listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Oh. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. 
But whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <clears throat> Just an aside. Why is Arthur Morgan so focused on John and his family? No one else. He doesn't have this kind of attention towards anyone else as part of the Vanderlyn gang. None of the women, many of whom are still young and have a, a long, long life ahead of them. It's because, it's because this is the only nuclear family, uh, husband, wife, and child in the entire gang. And he destroyed a nuclear family when he went to get money from that first group. What, what's, what's the name? I forget their names, but you know that, that whole story arc where he got TB and he found the, the, you know, the husband died from it and then uh, he found the, the wife being a prostitute. He destroyed that nuclear family. He forced the wife into prostitution because the husband died. He forced the son to work in a coal mine and kill himself because of what he did. Could this be part of his redemption arc? Maybe he's so attached to John and Abigail and little Jack because he regrets what, they, what he did to that one little nuclear family. Mason says it's because Arthur lost his family. That's true. We did, we did find out that he had his own son at one point. He had a woman whom he loved, Mary, but, but his lifestyle wasn't uh, accommodating their romance. Akina says they were raised as brothers with Dutch and Hosea. That's true. So he does have a stronger connection with John because they were kind of adopted by Dutch and Hosea at around the same time and were sort of raised, raised as brothers. Perno says to answer that question, you'll find out. Wink, wink. Oh, really? All right. Let's keep going. Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. One last train. Hey. Rockland F says, family is the foundation of society. Just my view. Many would agree, my friend. Many would agree. And there's Dutch. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Got everything? Yeah. He says that was such then a off we go. Off we go, indeed. <laughs> One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? He's so Sounds bitter! Sounds as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, Jeez. boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Fire. Micah just needs to be slapped. B. Jim says Susan was also seen as a mother figure by Arthur. Well, that does make sense. She sort she was sort of the mother of the crew, and she goes and kills Not Molly much like that. Now.
Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We're still going through with this. Of course we are. <laughs> Dutch has a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Dutch has a plan. Come on, Arthur. We gotta get on that train. All right. I've got level four bonding with this horse. We're gonna do just fine because Dutch has a plan. Working on it. Jump! Ha! Bye, Fuel! You okay? Yeah! Buddy's in the front carriage! We gotta push! Long arm back! Oh, I didn't get my right wet. Oh, it's quick! Before we run out of track! Go to hell! I got a shotgun! That's it for you! How you doing, Arthur? <laughs> I'm okay! Let's go, Arthur! Let's get that front! Come on! I'm gonna put you down! So much for sneaking on here! You feel like ditching? Of course not! Arthur's just too dark on oil to Dutch, even when he just is it. He's so loyal. Push Ken up, Clive on. says, Ox, Come I on. insist. Sorry, it's hard for me to combat and read the chat at the same time. Ken Clive says, Ox, I insist. This $20 be used for your scotch and cigar fund. Hope you're doing well and staying clear of the scorched plague. God, uh, art imitates life or vice versa. Yeah, no, I'm doing all right. I'm feeling good. No new plague symptoms around here. Just a shotgun in hand and enemies on a train. Let's get to the next pit. This is where we Longarm Litchfield, yeah! I've never been more excited to get tears in my coffee. Well done. Back it on. No, 
John! What happened to John? You protect that money! I am the John Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead to keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Shit! We got a lot of riders on our tail, Arthur! I see him. Watch your right! You sure you can handle that gun? I can't take over if you want. Just shut the hell up! We're gonna lose hey, a ton of our honor. On on left. Killing these doggone horses. a Gatling gun and I'm gonna lose all this honor but then again I am killing the US military. Look out on the left! I'm probably losing a lot a lot of honor anyway. Oh, That's right. Will you shoot him for Christ's sakes? What's wrong with you? I'm shooting all those people. Miss it! I don't take orders from you! I still got honor, okay. Okay, get off the gun. We need to go for the money. Come on! The money should be in the front carriage. Okay, quick. Let's blow a hole. Let's go! The money's in their carriage. All right, this is better. Blow this thing. Army payroll. Oh, this is awful what we're doing. Where's John? Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! Can't be true. What does Arthur know that can't be true? Red Dead Redemption! Is that it? Is that it? That can't be it. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. 
Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy God. be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. God, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! That's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You Lord and me is all we need. Good woman, Sadie. She knows Miss what's Tilly. right. Even when Here. she's robbing a train. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Oh, Mrs. stop Adler. the waterworks! God! Ride with me! Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, Arthur Morgan! You sent a little bastard! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. All right, Sadie. Now, he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And no! if this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John. Abigail and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. So where is John? <clears throat> I mean, if he didn't die, and we know he didn't die, what did Dutch and Micah do to John? Why isn't he here? Oh, poor little Jack. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. All right, Sadie, what's the plan? I love her plans, even though they're crazy, but the Adriscals are dead, so her brand of crazy is probably tamed a bit oh. by now. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. Arthur, just your pride. Do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. Oh, that and beautiful cover lighthouse. Me. Please. Okay. <laughs> Arthur and his pride. <laughs> he just can't. He just can't uh, deal with the fact that he's so sick and infirm. He's just going to keep going and going and going until the day he keels over dead. This guy. Ooh, did you see that leap? Now that was an athletic leap. Let's 
sniper at the lighthouse. Here we go. The best use for a lighthouse. <laughs> Finally got up there. Shit. God damn bastards. Where are you, Sadie? Oh no, I'm so bad at covering Sadie. Where are you, Sadie? I can't back out. How do I? Where, where was she? I guess I'll just follow her and try not to get too far ahead. Go. Shit. What? Why couldn't okay, I? Mr. Milton, why couldn't I take a shot? I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Why couldn't I take a shot? Sadie?
Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. Come on, Sadie Adler. Come on. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> oh. Abigail! <sighs> Horrible man. Now, come on, both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Billy's got him. Oh, thank God. Say your last <laughs> Abigail, you ride mine. Hurry, Arthur, let's go! Get on, Arthur! Get on! You'll be okay. About John? Shit! More on the ride! Hey, get back get here. You call yourself uh, man, you put me uh, Sons of bitches! More of them! Go left, Abigail! Uh, I'm dead. All three of you are dead! Had a different gun. Who do you think you are? Shoot him again! We're talking. Give it up! Wish I had a carbine. Where's my freaking carbine? Why can't I use my carbine? Gotta use pistols. Master, grab me outside camp. I was with Tilly and Jack. 
happened so fast, I couldn't do anything. It's all right. Jack and Tilly are fine. Ladies, I'm fine. Hold up a moment. Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't... I Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. She needs All it. our money. She needs the money. Arthur I know John told money. you I knew where it was. Arthur's gonna die. He doesn't need the money. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Well, why'd she give it to Arthur? Why didn't she keep it? You could have given Jack a future. Yeah. We're gonna go see Micah. Miles we walk. Right. The many things we learn. Uh, right. The building of a shrine. To burn. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. Sorry for your son, it's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. Right! May the cars ride straight. Right, Arthur! All from your command. Ah, oh, music, man. It's kidding me. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You saved my life. You're a good man. Do you know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. No name says for the demonetization, thank you. Ready I just can't. Sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. I just can't bear to turn the music off at such a moment. So I'm gonna get demonetized, but whatever, it's part of the plot. We need the song. Okay, Arthur, 
What are you doing here? What are you doing back here, Arthur? We don't need the treasure. We're dead. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> Potato says Steve. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Steve. I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? John! You left me! Left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! Dutch. Dutch. All of you. You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. Good, Susan. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Ah! Now! Ah! Ah! Why do I get so Who amongst you ah! Ah! is with me? Ah! Ah! Susan, what are you... And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! Oh, great one, pink and tense! <laughs> yeah. Everyone get down! Can I at least use my carbine? Yes! Oh, it's on the horse! That gun it! My shotgun's on the horse! Bolt action rifle, I don't want that! Carbine! Ah, uh, it's double! Kill them. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Stay with me, Arthur! They left John? They just left John? Those bastards left me for dead! Seems that's what they do now! Let's keep moving! Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Come on, Arthur. With me. <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? He's I'm gonna give the key to John. Going. Arthur, you go up first. Oh, John. Sure, I'll go up first. What's gonna happen to you? Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landed. Give him the key. Thank you. 
Give him the key. Brother. Take the key. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Shooting at me? Arthur, we gotta go! Come on, ride! Pinkerton's coming through the trees! Watch out! Here it Come comes. on, Arthur! Did I shoot him on accident? Uh, you! Uh, you! Come on, brother. No, Let's go. You. Give me a second. Come on! Push, Arthur! Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, oh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Help John go to safety, return for the money. Help John uh, go to safety! Who needs the I'm money? I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. <laughs> it's the last goddamn thing I do. He's been trying. Thank you. Arthur, this oh, entire shit. game trying Let's to go. help John. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Take them down. I'm sorry to all of you doing super chats, but I'm having a hard time keeping up with chat <coughs> while trying to help John here. Let's get up this cliff. Oh, we're going up a cliff now. Is that what we're doing, John? Come on, Arthur. Okay. Keep pushing. That sounds smart. Stay down. Almost. Get behind a rock. God damn it! They're everywhere. Get out. Got him down. Get out of here! Oh. Let's go! Come on, we need to get going! Yeah, 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 come on, fine. Let's go! All right, Arthur, come on, let's go! You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. This is where I beat. think I've pushed all I can. Arthur Come Morgan. On, you go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. 
You're my brother. I know. I know. gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost Man, despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I won Crawl! Crawl! Damn you! Crawl! It is over. Now. What? It's over. Oh, Dutch. 
He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I'm dead. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Kill Micah? We don't get to kill Micah? The Dutch, without a word, just walks away. Arthur's gonna die alone! was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? Oh. I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. Like the beard, John. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. 
And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy. Sorry, oh, sir. just about careened off a bridge there. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, well, Pop. I'm not in the state like, to be driving a carriage Western right now. Tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy Tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. <laughs> you know what? So do I. Has this whole game been about Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table? <laughs> I think that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. I mean, John would be Lancelot. Time. What would Dutch be? Micah what would be Mordred? Who would be Gawain? Why don't you pull up just here? Josh says I'm Arthur, they're blaming the kid while it was honest work. I can Arthur, find. the truest Great influence dinner. on their lives. Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. I just can't believe after Mister? all of that, Arthur died alone. Yeah. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Cool, good honest work. Issued, <clears throat> issuing by the ivory gate are dreams of glimmering illusion, fantasies, but those... Oh, and it flew off the screen. Sorry, that sounded really interesting. I gotta find it again. That was Melinda Richards. Issued, issuing by the ivory gate are dreams of glimmering illusion, fantasies, but those that come through solid polished horn may be borne out if mortals only knew them. Dutch was full of dreams, but never knew how to fulfill them. That's true. He was always, uh, he always knew what he wanted, but he didn't know how to go about it. He always had a plan, but the plan was never thought through very well. Always something got in his way. Lucid Sage says, I love this game. I feel like the cutscene with the buck is supposed to symbolize how outlaws are now being hunted like wildlife in the new coming era. That's insightful. I didn't even think of that. That's a great little touch. Jay-Z says, Ox, is this the first game that's gotten to you? No, I mean... If I'm being honest, games with really good stories get to me. Um, 
in moments like that. As much as I hate the fact. Rockland says, I think Wapiti at the choice point in the story. I think of Wapiti at the choice point in the story. Even as sacred things are only things, people in the heart matter more. Rains fall. Well, oh, there's wisdom there. Uh, all right, they're at the doctor. Those fellas are going to be loading up the. Uh, <clears throat> they're going to be loading up the wagon, so I'm not going to take it with me. Let's head on up to the doctor. Doc Wheeler, resident. Cortis says thank, thank you, Wax, for playing Arthur's Journey. Hey. Loved it. Thank <laughs> you, Cortis. I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Oh, fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. You see, this is, this is Arthur's happily ever after. He didn't care about himself. He just wanted to see John and, John and Abigail loving each other and forming a, a family life for themselves. So in a way, it's a happy ending for Arthur. All right. Load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Oh, and oh, great, another one of these. <laughs> Last time I had to deliver these goods slowly, I ended up damaging them right at the end. All right. How far away is Pronghorn Ranch and how fast can I go? West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. You have to deliver these goods slow now. Wolf Dragon Tamer with a tip for Arthur. For Arthur. Don't lose your cargo, I'm gonna try not. Good honest living. That's the life for John Marston. <laughs> His wife is working in a doctor's office. That's good work. Respectable. People of Strawberry will get to love him and respect him as honest, upstanding citizens of the town of Strawberry. Oh, that's probably too fast. That's probably too fast. I gotta slow him down. And then John, the man about town, the handyman. Is that all? Always willing to do some honest work. Parker Smith says, the buck also means a kinder impact on the world. You think so? It's also a very good way to look at it. No Name says, and all the chicken you can stand on. And John stands on chicken in the town of Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep it slow. Keep it steady. <laughs> Will John run into Dutch again? Don't answer that. I want to find out on my own. But if he does, I imagine there's a lot of rage built up with him. Leaf says if you had bad honor, you get a wolf instead of a buck. Oh. Owen oh, Jill. We go past it and north. A wolf devours to exist. A buck exists. Ken Clive says, it's a carriage, Ox, not a Mini Cooper. Watch those turns. I'll do my best, but you know me in driving games. 
Anything with wheels and I, we don't mix. We just don't. Christian says, now Arthur is with Lenny drinking and playing hide and seek found you, Lenny. Oh, no, that's that's a heaven worth thinking about. I bet you that's how he'd spend his time. <laughs> Okay, uphill. I'll risk a little bit more speed. Oh, now downhill. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's slow on down. Oh, I'm gonna wreck this entire thing, aren't I? How far do we gotta go? I mean, if it's halfway across the map, I, I guess I won't care if I wreck it. Where, where are we? Oh my God. And I've only, I'm about halfway there. Uh, a little more speed, a little more speed. You can go faster on the nice even flat stretches, how about that? There we go north. Use cinematic mode, no, last time I used cinematic mode, I ruined the cargo. Camdog says, Last of Us Remastered, live with Oxhorn. If it ever comes to the PC, maybe. I know I've been meaning to play Last of Us, I'd love to. But them console only games, you know. I just can't play games with controllers. I don't know what it is about my hands. But they, they, they and controllers don't work well. Since you didn't play Red Dead Redemption 1, says Breadbus, you didn't recognize that Arthur's hat is the same one that John wears in Red Dead Redemption 1. I mean, you're right, I didn't play Red Dead Redemption 1, but I did kind of get the impression that there was some significance in Arthur Morgan, given John his hat. And you know, it's really sweet uh, and sentimental of John to continue to wear that hat. Hey, we made it! Cargo intact. This must be it. Fence! Easy now. There we go. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. Mattis says, hello there, Ox, I'm back. Hey there, Mattis. Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, you looking for hands? Why, you looking for work? Yeah, my wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> you can use that horse. 
And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. Belgian draft horse, okay. So <laughs> old habits die hard. Wagon. For poor John Marston. Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Get on with you! No! Whoa, whoa! You can't take a joke, mister! Tell Gaddy's to take that off for off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more funny! <laughs> well, that ran him off! Hopefully all they walked away with was one apple. And he ended it without violence. Wait, why are we going this way? Oh, you're right, right, goes right back around. Well, now John's got a job. He earned it now. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I'll work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, <laughs> she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble are you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll yeah. let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. That's I'll go great. get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Hey. Thank you. Homestead. Do not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns. Oh, that's great news. Valentino says, Oxhorn, hello from Russia with love. Thank you from Russia and hello from Seattle. Good to have you on the program. A good, honest John Marston. Epilogue part one, Pronghorn Ranch. This game is so huge. And here I thought it was going to end with this stream, but no, we got time. <laughs> Silver? Silver? Reach Pronghorn Ranch without dropping any supplies. Reclaim the wagon within one minute. All right, new horses available to purchase in the back Blackwater and Tumbleweed stables. Well, great. Uh, here's the epilogue. Bodie says, we need to see how good of a show heckler John is. Well, now, what do we even do? Uh, I guess we do some farm work here. Uh, anything else on? We can't, we can't rightly roam the territory like we used to. Because we're, uh, we're an employee now. All right, back to it. Let's do some farm work. No, no. 
Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. <laughs> hey, he caught that. Hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Josh we'll says, Ox, get a new horse and they get Buell Jr. Make sure he works extra hard. That's a good idea. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Mr. Dickens knows there's something in John's past. Well, we're going to work this some way. extra hard. I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, <laughs> mister. I don't want to worry her. Well, look at how big oh, Jack's yeah. getting. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> Poor I guy. Go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. <laughs> I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Oh, circus. Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. Well, there is good. that. No so, name says all that ranch, but no dressing. Question. Are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Oh, guns? Nothing like that. Revolvers? Yeah. Oh, Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. <laughs> Trix Digsall says, things. John Jim like just can't men. win. <laughs> well, no, he can't. I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> Zach right, says, dude. you'll be with Marston anyway, for a hot cows. minute. Not to spoil, but get ready for the longest epilogue in gaming history. I'm ready. I don't want to see this game end. Not anytime soon. I'm ready to milk some cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never... Never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Why'd the women hey, all wander off? Sit down, I'll show you how. Is there something about this Approach place that's not now. good for women? She don't take too kindly to surprises. I'm suddenly a little bit worried about Abigail. Oh, we're gonna milk this cow. I'm gonna milk this cow like this cow's never been milked before. Fire rain, says Ox. You made a living appealing again. 
or he made live and appealing again when things were dark in my world from Fallout, Bioshock, and Metro. The ride's been fun. Gracias from England. Well, Fire Rain, I'm just so glad you're here to share Red Dead Redemption 2 with me. Thank you so much for watching. Left, right, left, right. Oh. That cow likes you. Almost got a pail full. <laughs> that cow likes you. Oh, I don't want to get too close to this cow. I'll just, I'll just keep on with the milking. That's what I'm, I do. He's got good hands. Hey, Good, Paul. strong hands. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta That's earn enough, our keep. Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Teaching his boy how to do an honest day's work. I told you now, Lancelot. That's well, good, man, sir. John. Jim. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not too keen on shoveling crap, is he? The John will do it. He's gotten his hands dirty before. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Bye. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, <laughs> bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. All right, press left click when near manure to scoop it on up. This is the game. Hold on. This is the game now. <clears throat> Red Dead Redemption, gunslingers and manure slingers. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. <laughs> Sorry, That's sir. Right. Nothing. No, he remembers all that Be spaghetti. Careful. Fine Italian cuisine that he enjoyed with Angelo Bronte. Moving up. John Marston, terror of the turds. He's got a sense of humor Hell. about it. Just three, huh? Now let's go get this last one here. Look at this horse shit. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. <laughs> Lancelot, he's his dad. His dad just comes up with this, this alias for his son based on the book that he's reading. His poor son. This Jackson. Now I gotta be Lancelot. For the rest of my life, I'm Lancelot. Doggone it, dad. <laughs> Hey. Hey. How do I smell? Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Uh-oh. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> she crawls over him and he grunts. He's like, <laughs> Silver, how'd I get silver for for scooping poop? How'd I get silver for scooping poop? Complete within five minutes and fifteen seconds. 
I can't even scoop poop right. It's silver metal for scooping poop. Oh, a couple of quests. Big one, DG. Small one, TD. Uh, work to be done around the ranch. Or... Well, let's do this one first. Tom Dickens. We'll do the small one. Maybe that's a side quest. Well, no, it's a main quest, but I don't want to miss it. So let's do that one. Small one. Get my stamina up. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Circus. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> Poor John. <laughs> He's like, I was can't raised lie. to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. Ooh, calm down, John. <sighs> but I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. All right. Building the fence now. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bang on a post. Swing. Okay. Swing. Again. Here we go. Swing. Oh, I'm so good, good. at swinging now this. Now grab hammer. a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now that's how you build a fence. Just line up those notches. Position. W.S. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Just calm down. Now, lift up the other side. They got to line up, see? Yeah, I, I get it. Now the next rail. Uh, on one side. Just place that side. Oh, oh, up. Place it. You're doing all go. right. Yeah, I don't know. Place that. Fine. Fine. <laughs> up we get. Last one, the hardest one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's heavy. Up, up. Yeah, place it. Easy. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Huh. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. Well, so long. This is rocket I'll science, you know. sections when you're done. Okay. Oxhorn the Homesteader says Melina Richards. I could be that guy. Look at John building this fence. That's some fine, honest work right there. Something to be proud of. All right, let's uh, up, 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 up. Place over here. Up, 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 up. Nope, up there, man. Place that. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Working on it one thing at a time. Quick as you can. Come on, son. <laughs> Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? <laughs> uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. <sighs> nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. <laughs> No name says Farmville. It's got some great graphics these days. That it does. Oh, shit. I'll get him. Whoop. No. No. I gotta build that. No. No, I'm gonna trap him. No, no. Gotcha. Whoa. Come on. Oh no, I've just built that. 
Oh, dang it, get dark on full. Stop! I, I just built that fence. I don't want to rebuild it. No, you don't. Oh! I'm gonna get gored by a wall. Who's that? It's fine. Great. Oh. Bad ball. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Good. There, there. Good, good ox. There, there. Good bull. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy. easy. Now ride it back. Easy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Day three, coffee in the morning, muck slinging in the afternoon, fence building. I'll get the, the coffee on. Thank you. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Three bucks. Six silver. Five. Bunch of silver. I don't understand. Avoid being hit by the bull. Okay, well. I mean, I guess I did deserve that one. I got hit a few times by that bull. All right, we got one left. Hey, what's this? Cow milking. Horse station. Cow milking. So go to the barn and milk cows for happy animals and healthy milk. All right. Do I do this as like a side mission or do I go straight? Let's try it. Let's milk the cows. See what we get. Maybe I'll earn more money this way. Maybe that's what he meant by working hard. <laughs> that's how we go through doors up north. All right. All right. Milk this cow. Where's that milking station? Wait, no, I'm in the horse stable, aren't I? Yeah. No, I need to go out, smoke some more cows. Make some more money. Oh, no cows. I guess we're not milking cows. Fine. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, I'm Pa! Here. Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. <clears throat> Bukodla says doing chores increases honor. Ah, okay, so I don't make more money, Come I just on, increase over honor. Here. I'm good. That's fine. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I since you showed up. Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. 
When Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Well, what is he going to town to do? He's got this big ranch that needs all this work done. What's he doing in town? Uh-oh. I think the plot's about to thicken here. Hey, youngster! I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa! <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Oh, hey! Easy now. Hey, now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Tire out, Jeremiah. Benny, I'm updated. Morgan. There's a, there's a horse called the Morgan? The Morgan. Morgans are classed as riding horses. They can be identified by their smaller frame, refined build, and elegant gait. The bay, polomino, liver chestnut, flaxen chestnut, and bay roan coat can be found in the wild. The bay roan and the palomino are also purchasable from stables. They are known for having poor health and acceleration. Their speed and stamina are average, making them suitable for shorter journeys. Hopefully good for farm work, though. Oh, all right, so we're going to tire this horse out. Everything you got, come on. I can do that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Come on. Let it all out of you. I guess I can't gallop fast in here. Okay, back you to got the field. Some energy? Show me then. Pretty country. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get a lather up. Almost there. All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. Back to Jeremiah, or back to the young Duncan, I believe his name is. Nope, nope, no, nope, I'm not going into the fence. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Uh, All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Fire Stay Rain calm. says, did you ever w uh, play Undead Me? Nightmare? Fond memories. I haven't played it yet. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, 
But I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. Oh, All nice. right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. Josh Bunton says Undead Nightmare was an alternate storyline for Red Dead Redemption 1. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Oh, no. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. <clears throat> Little Timmy says it's John a horse puncher just like Arthur was. I guess we'll find out. I don't know. We will find out. All right, Mrs. Milton. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where oh. the legs are. Oh, no. Go on. Oh, really? Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, no. <laughs> She's like, got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Oh, I lost it. Grab it again. Get a hold of it again. <laughs> hold the Milton. <laughs> so close. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. No! Perhaps even now. No! A drink to toast our new no. arrival. No! I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy, uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day. Mr. Milton. Well, at least there's that. God, that was terrifying. Okay. There's a lot of uh, uh, treacherous opportunities here at the Milton farm. Go to the house and speak to Abigail. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go talk to the wife. <laughs> Steer clear of trouble. Hey, honey. Thought you went to work. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Don't complain, Fake names, John. which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please, for me. Oh, once a gunslinger, always a gunslinger. Fire Rain says, mm, hardly any sanitation. Welcome to the West. <laughs> Hopefully that horse lives. Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. New pony. Teach him to ride the pony. That's a good idea. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Ryan's Rock and Review says Arthur the horse puncher and John the horse birther. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. 
How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. <laughs> You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Uh... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa! Don't let Jack go too fast. He might get fucked off the horse. Okay. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Easy. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. That's a nice, uh, a nice canter. Don't think we want to go too much. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Even faster, come on. Faster? Try it. Ha! Slow, Jack, slow. Easy there. Let's bring up the pace again. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Shall we let him win? We don't want him to go too fast, go otherwise he'll get fucked off. But it is a race. Don't get cocky, boy. I'm winning. You know how old my horse is. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Are you still back there? Oh. I guess I can't tease anymore. Yeehaw! It's not letting me tease anymore. Oh well. We're doing it, boy! Last straight. Come on! Go. Well ridden, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's gotten a lot better. 
Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. <laughs> My horse. I can't get on the horse. Okay, guess I gotta investigate the disturbance. Old habits, oh no. You wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. Oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, come on, get him. I'll oh, kick his head in, boss. Come on. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Goodness. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. What am I going to do? He swings at me. Just dodge it? Hands behind the back? I'm good at dodging. I'll just sit here and dodge the entire time because I don't want to make Abigail upset. Ethan says you can't lose you a fight and then start gloating. It don't work like I that. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I won't hear any more of it. That's gold. You won't hear any. Oh, yeah, that's gold. Yeah, defeat the Laramine without taking a hit. Defeat the Laramine within 25 seconds. Go! I finally figured out how to punch people in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm gonna take that, stick it in my wall. That's a trophy. A bit. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Oh, I think we've come to work for a sleazy guy. A, Abigail, go and see your wife. David Geddes. Howdy. Well, we're right here. Let's, let's talk with David Geddes, I guess. We totally didn't hear them having a domestic squabble. Hello, sir. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know.
Why are they all looking at their spoons Anybody wants some more? Uh, no, no, I'm good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston. Uh, You're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. All right, it's getting late. They didn't like Let's the taste. That's what that was all about. Oh, picking on good poor night, Abigail. Jack. Good night, Mama. Just trying to make good a good night, answer. Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim! They got Dickens! Over by the stables! What? It's over. It's rich man's folly. You boys are over. The cattle are ours. And soon enough. Who's this? New hand? Where's Katie's now? I lost my wind. Oh, I let Dumb Hicks brought this on you. Jim, you put him down, all right. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Man, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, no. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Oh, boy. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Here we go. John Marston is back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, no. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Just don't get anyone killed, John Marston. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Where 
is he? Where is this one guy? Got this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. Loot. Hey. Hey. I know you're in here. Piss stinking. Shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good, trash. Got it. Well, that one was tougher. No gold medal for me. Let's try that again. Jim Melden, Jim Melden, you son of a bitch! I see you, Melden. You're gonna be sorry for what you did. You ain't so talky now, are you? Piss stinking, shit shoveling, backwoods, sucker, no good, trash. What the heck am I doing wrong? There we go, finally! You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. Not even a second thought. <sighs> Shit. Sawed off shotgun, Kettleman's revolver. I like my Kettleman's revolver. Where's my hat? Doc gun it. There's my hat. Low life knocking off my hat. R to block? Oh, I've been pressing up. After punch a horse, R to block. Well, hopefully we didn't get anyone killed. Not from our ranch. That was the cover of Red Dead Redemption 1, was it? Title screen feels... Ah. Oh. Love the continuity. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Beginner's no, luck. Nothing. Well. You. Oh, you. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. 
Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Just doing what comes natural. That's John Marston. What? But poor Abigail. She wanted what? to leave that life. But it's the wild What West. choice did I have? Just answer me that. He tried. He shoveled crap. What he was took I care of boxes. supposed to do? Melina says life is tough, but it's tougher when you're stupid. John Wayne. That's the truth. Good quote there. <sighs> But just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Rons. Jim Milton rides again? Get 10 kills while dual wielding sidearms. Get 15 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Cows aren't here. Oh, hey cows. Nope, those are bulls. Hey, sorry. All right, what are we doing? Going back to Abigail. Oh, Abigail. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. Which name? One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. Boy's getting soft, he says. Boy's just reading a book. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Be careful on this. I ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. And Ma what? was wrong about that. Pride? It was defense. They were under attack by armed men with guns. They killed another Here. guy. I mean, come on. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, 
Just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Okay. And the boy does all right. Death himself says they ordered toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Well, rare commodities these days. Time to pick them up from the post office. Enough. For now. That kid's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Whoops. Take it a little bit. Look out! No! No! Yes! I am quite aware. You'll be okay. <laughs> oh, why? Just try to drive a little horse. He's standing there on some rocks and then suddenly kid. drop dead. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you uh, without a book in your hand. Gonna give me bronze. You giving the horse a rest, Pa? It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. Slow down. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. <laughs> Pyro Man says, can you be trusted, Dad? Tony J says, Oxhorn School of Cart strikes hard again. Okay, this time let's go the other way. That's less of a sharp turn. All right, yep, the horse is doing okay. Oh, look at that, straight shot. Where are you guys going? You rotten oh. asshole! So, yeah, they know how I drive. Well, okay, fair enough. You didn't used to drive this slow. And now the boy's getting on me for driving too slow. We're almost there. I want to kill the horse again. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. <clears throat> um, and if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Oh, he's developing a bit of an attitude, this boy. All that reading. Hi, I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, John Marston. Marston... Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. Whoops. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Uh oh. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Oh, 
Oh yeah. my god, I don't want this poor kid to get in trouble. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or no, the saloon or anywhere? Get out of here. Get out we're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. That guy up there. No one behind us. Who is this fine fella? Maybe we'll give him a how Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say Who's slow down, days? you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Actually, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah! Give him a switch. Oh, okay. okay. Ah. Let's speed this up. Back there. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Bounty hunter, maybe. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. I'm the one getting skittish. Sebastian says, I sadly missed the stream we want to see from the start. Just want to give you the what? donation. Nothing. Just keep driving. For a cigar and to let you know that I still have about 3CH to go. So it won't finish today. Also, okay. explore new parts of the map. Why? There might be a side quest. What's wrong? Don't Will look do. Around. Oh, Pog. Hey. Those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon. Jump down and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, Mr. Kill him. No. 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 This here boy's gonna get you. Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Land of second chances, but you can't escape the past. Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. 
You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa! Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Poor kid, poor kid. Oh, this poor boy. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. Now that idea is starting you to sound better, better isn't it? it? Didn't it? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Home. That's right. Peacher's Home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Kid is hyperventilating. Jack is annoying, says Sebastian. Jack is such a wimp, says uh, Red Rum. But yeah, we have to remember he's just a boy. He's what, 12 years okay, old? Here we are. That was in. Can't expect uh, him to be a man about these kind of things yet. He's trip. just a boy. Go say hi to your mother. No name says give the kid some booze. He'll get over it. How a little bit of whiskey. What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... Was your dress that caused all the problems? It weren't even a dress. Oh, don't blame it. It was a gift for you. Don't blame it on her. Oh, it's not her fault. I mean, he made the reputation for himself. He made the name John Marston. At some point, he's got to own it. Fire Rain says, Mr. Hey, Ox, what cigars do you smoke? Mr. Jim. Like hey. Brandon Tyke, my favorite uh, cigar is There's a telegram Scott. messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. You tried Ben Bracken or Jack Daniels? I have tried what Jack Daniels. Want? I've never tried Ben I Bracken. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. I'm smoking La That's Aurora him. E. Leon c I cigars. See him. Thanks, Abe. And I, I, I typically like uh, scotch for my whiskey. A good Laphroaig or a Glenlivet or a Glen, Livet or a Glen Fittick. Those are my go-to beverages. Okay, what's this telegram say? Please say it's not addressed to John Marston. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's uh -oh. Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Oh. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. If Sadie could find Sadie him. Adler. I'll be damned. If Sadie could find him, anyone can find him. Oh no, what's Abigail gonna say? Doesn't want to get involved in the old gang again. Though, then again, Sadie's not part of that old gang. Sadie went off to do her old thing. But is Sadie living a life of crime? What is Sadie doing now? What does she want to speak with John about? John about? Hopefully it's a legitimate job. Abigail!
Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. What was in the present, the package she got him? New shirt. <laughs> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy. And the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. <laughs> Take your mind off it. Return to work. How can you work like this? Wife has gone off. People know my name now. John's name now. How do you work? All that on your mind. One thing at a time, I suppose. Well, milk some cows. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sebastian says, also, you don't have to get off your horse to camp, and you don't have to find a spot. The game sends it yourself. I also just saw the weird lady, lol. Well, I don't think I've seen her yet. Oh, you mean the one that comes to your camp? Yeah. Well, thanks for the tip. I didn't know you had to get off the horse to camp, or you didn't have to get off the horse to camp. All you need is a montage, montage. <laughs> Jim Milton, F fence builder, cow milker, big beard. A few months later. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Guidance. Well, let's see what kind of guidance we can get, and hopefully we don't burst in on a family dispute. Hopefully his wife doesn't want something. Is 
a gun outside. This is outside. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... Well... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just ah. make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. <laughs> well, at least he's got hope. Well, we got less than 20 minutes. He's gonna wear his nice shirt. Or is he gonna get himself in trouble again? Fanciest duds to look respectable when asking for a bank loan. Sadie Adler. That's right, Sadie wants to meet with us. All the way in black. No, Abigail's in Blackwater. Sadie's in Valentine. Well, wait a minute. I'm going to the bank, right? Is that what I'm doing? I'm going to the bank? Ansel Atherton. Oh, that's not. Okay, so that's Ansel Atherton in Blackwater. So now we make a choice. Do we see what Sadie wanted? Do we see what Sadie wanted or do we go to Ansel Atherton? Splink, uh, Splinku says, Oxhorn, did you know he's wearing his original outfit from the first game? No, I had no idea. Go to Blackwater, says Ethan H. Tony says, Oxhorn, notice how Blackwater is no longer in red? I do. Song Ox, don't fast travel. Got you. All right, the, the chat is divided. Blackwater first says some, Sadie first says some. You can do Sadie later. I'll do Blackwater first. All right. Let's go get to Blackwater at least. Rockland says, listening to Willie and Nelson here, Outlaw Country. And with his feeling deep in 
I side. am so going to get demonetized for this stream. I know now, but I am <laughs> homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Cruel, cruel world I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. I'm gone. Brad Buzz says, now you can explore the map from the original Red Dead Redemption. I look forward to it. I mean, I never played the original Red Dead, so it's going to be all new to me. Hellraiser says, if you weren't demonetized before, you're definitely demonetized now. So much pain. Yeah, I don't suppose any now amount of me talking over the song is going to get my monetization of a girl. Back. No more, no more cruel. Cruel, cruel, must I go on? Cinematic mode, not always on spot there. New Coca-Cola Quantum says in Valentine, there's someone in jail you can meet. All right, well, when I head that way, probably in the next stream, I'll make sure to make a stop at the jail just to see who's waiting. Dusty trail, saw a vapor light. Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right. I felt mission, I felt trust. I knew then that I must go to her from this cruel world. Cruel, cruel world, must I go? The Nate says, look it up. This song still has an official release. Aside from the game rips, you won't get demonetized. Oh, good. Well, that's good news. Thank you, my friend. Fire Rain says, unrelated, but as a Seattle fan, did you ever see Nirvana in concert or rock slash grunge groups from the 90s? I'm inspired by that era of music so much. Well, Nirvana has uh, a big reputation here in Seattle. Of course, everyone's familiar with them. Them and Pearl Jam. Uh, but now, you know, I wasn't really a concert goer back when I was younger. So, no, I never went to any of those concerts. Though my high school days were, uh, were all about Nirvana and Pearl Jam. <laughs> Tell you that. Sea God says, Arthur, go to Ar uh, uh, Oxhorn, go to Arthur's grave. You're by it. Well, I don't want to break the montage, and I don't. I still don't know where the grave is. Maybe we can revisit it in the next uh, game. No, I'm really confused because Arthur died alone. Dutch walked away, Micah walked away, the Pinkertons were gunning up the side of that hill. Who was there to bury Arthur Morgan? Was it Sadie Adler? Will she mark the location on our map later? So this is Blackwater. Never seen it before. Complete within one minute and 30 seconds. My poor horse is tuckered out. Do I have anything to give him? Apple. Easy, girl. Mm. Pleasant morning. How you doing? So, this is Blackwater. I suppose things... Good old western better. town, looks like. There's the bank. Cool down, girl. Why work when there's idleness to be getting on with, huh? No sense overworking yourself. Move out of the darn way. Excuse me, sir. Can I, Hello. can I help you? All right, officer. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. 
Parker Smith says, go to the grave with 100%. There's a special line. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> you mean 100% completion of the game? sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. <laughs> Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only oh. folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Alex says, what kind of headphones do you have? Um, DT770 Pro, 250 ohm. Well, um, I got less than 10 minutes. Nice morning, isn't it? Gavin. Is this guy still looking for Gavin? Morning. Where's Gavin's friend? Where is he? Morning, partner. How do you do? Howdy, mister. Morning, friend. I'm looking for my mate, Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? Oh, he looks pretty bad. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! I'm trying to greet you. Stop a minute! Whoa! Morning to you. I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin. For Gavin. Going crazy. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't see him. I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. Good luck. This poor guy. Gavin! Oh, I am oh, so worried. Gavin. I'm sweating through my suit. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Morning. Where are you? <laughs> this poor Where are you? You must really like this friend. Wow. How do you do? Can you believe that? Good morning. Now I have surely seen it all. Hola, señor. This is really worrying me. Enough to make you Gavin! <laughs> Let's go, girl. Fire Ant says, oh my god, look, it's Doc Emmett Brown. Great I've Scott. Got, and I've got a lot. Well, here we are in the town of Blackwater. That, apparently, is the ranch we need to get to. But I, I got six minutes left. Let's see if we can at least ride there. Now, oh. there 
you go. Wow, no, this is dusty Wild West country here. I tell thee, and I tell thee now, eternity waits for us all. But which eternity? Old blind man Cassidy. He's not old crazy man, Cassidy. Why can't I greet? Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. The Skinner Brothers. The Skinner Brothers are a group of outcasts that have become one of the most notorious gangs around. These men prefer to roam the region of tall trees, causing havoc, rather than finding a fixed hideout. They, rev they revel in brutally attacking and killing people, with each murder being more vicious than the last. This diverse group does not favor one type of weapon. They can be found using anything from Apache bows and Mexican knives to good American shotguns. Why did they give me that upon uh, donating to the poor beggar? I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Find the black flower and you will be rewarded. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. That's easy to interpret. We can finally go to Tahiti if we go to Don't black water. Don't waste any water. more time with an old blind man. And get go the treasure and become now. who you are. Look at the wagon, they say. Ox the wagon? What wagon? Whoa! Oh! These guys. That's why we got... What's their name? Well, I don't want to loot them, because then I'll lose honor. Look! Covered in arrows! Looks well looted already. Horse is gone. The people killed. So that's why we got the compendium update. <laughs> Spoopy says, no, actually, there is a black flower you can find, and there's treasure. Oh, really? I thought by black flower they meant the treasure in black water. But, okay, a real black flower. The wagon was attacked by the Skinner Brothers. That's why it popped up, says Zervix. All right, that does make sense. Thank you. We got him now. Go! <laughs> you lose your eyes. Now these fellas, I won't mind looting. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we got thunder. Hope I don't get struck by lightning. Goodness. So is this part of that Skinner gang? Is that what they are? One more up here. Well, with that, I'm going to have to end it, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't get to Blackwater, but I do have to end the broadcast. So I'm going to end it right there. I've got a hard stop. Thank you all very much for joining me for this uh, week's episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. We got through the main story. We learned Arthur's fa tragic fate. Tough moment, but wonderful storytelling. Now we get to explore the story of John Marston before the events of Red Dead Redemption 1. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. 
Josh says, Ox, please try to get struck by it. By lightning? Well, I mean, I've been running around in the rain. Uh, I hope I don't get struck by lightning. We'll see. Anyway, I got to head on out. Thank you so much. Laura videos for the weekend on the story of Sophia Daguerre from Fallout 76. That's what we're going to be starting with. Hope you'll tune in tomorrow morning and Sunday for those, those lore videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. And I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.